Hello and welcome to this next tutorial, which will be very useful for anyone who's trying to uh, work with multiple Blender files and bring one object from one Blender file into another Blender file. So we're going to start off by opening a new Blender file and adding a monkey head to the scene. Make a few changes to Suzanne, our monkey. For example, we can change the color, maybe adjust the eyes a little bit and give her some horns, make her into a devil monkey. So now we're going to save the file and open a new Blender file. In the new file, go to File, Append. So you can import anything from the first file to the second file by using File, Append. Navigate to the Devil Monkey file and open the Objects folder. Click on the Monkey object and then click on Link Append from Library. This imports the monkey head into the new file independently from the old file. And you could then do whatever you want with it in your new file. So in a lot of cases you're going to want to append files if you want to have autonomy over it and, and not have any link to the original file. However, there is another option which is called linking. And it's important to know the difference between appending and linking because sometimes you might want to link instead of append or vice versa. So click File, Link, and then Object, Folder, and select the monkey. This time you don't get a gizmo and the object has a blue outline around it. So have a look in the outline window and notice that the monkey has a different icon. So we can't do very much to linked objects in our Blender scene file. However, you can move or change the object in the original scene and then it will automatically update in the new one. Or you can make a proxy on the object. So if you've linked uh, an object from one file to another, press spacebar and search for proxy, which is uh, make proxy. That's the command that we want to use. Or you can press Control alt p or go to the object menu and choose make proxy from there. This actually gives you a gizmo and an orange outline around the object. And once you've done this, added a proxy to the object, it enables you to move, rotate, scale, um, and do a lot of other things to the object and modify it. The difference is, though, that the object is still linked to the original file. In other words, you can still make changes to the original file and it will update automatically to our linked image of the object. The benefit of this is that it keeps your Blender file size relatively small compared to if you were to append all of your objects, which would slow it down significantly. And also changes made to the original file are automatically updated in the linked file. Okay, so if we save the linked file, and then open the original monkey and make a few changes, and then save the original monkey. Open the linked file and we'll see that it has automatically updated for us just to demonstrate the process. You must keep the original monkey in the same folder as the linked one in order for this to work. If you move or delete it then the object will be missing in the second file. So it's very important that you you keep the original files that you've linked in the same folder. So this has been an overview of how to append objects and how to link objects in Blender and some of the reasons why you might choose to either link or append in different situations. 